Hi, Swari. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you for asking. How are you, sir? Doing good. Yeah, Swari, please walk me through your CV. Yeah, sure, sir. My name is Kote Sharin and I'm from Bangalore. I have been working from three years in LTA Mindly organization as a Power Platform developer. And I have worked with uh, Microsoft Power Platform tools such as Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BA, and Power Virtual Agents. And I have used Power App to create applications. In whatever the applications we have created for those applications for automating process, I have used Power Automate. And I have also created few dashboards using the power ba and recently i have gone through the power virtual agents but practically i didn't use in my real time projects projects and also i have certified as a power platform developer from the microsoft as pl400 and i have knowledge on recently introduced copilot in a power platform also this is all about me sir okay so how much relevant experience do you have in power platform I have 2.5 years experience in Poppler. 2.5 years of experience? Yes. Fine. So you have worked with mostly with uh, Canvas apps or model driven apps? Canvas apps I have worked. Canvas apps. Yes. Okay, let's get started then. I'll give you a few questions so then you can tell me the answer. Okay, sir. Sure. Fine. So can you tell me how, as you mentioned in your introduction that you have integrated Canvas apps with the Power Automate, right? So yes. can you please tell me like what are the steps that you have to do for the integration of two products? Yes, the, in a Power Apps only, there is an option like a flows. So we can create that Power Automate directly from the Power App or else uh, if we want to any automation like a when new item is created through the Power Apps in the database. So like that also i have used uh, that power automate like when new item is created in a database so we will get the notification through power automate when okay. we submit the data through the power apps then it will store into the database whenever it is storing the data then we will get the notification so those type of things i have done okay have you processed the response from power automate in canvas apps uh yes sir yes uh, actually in one application i have used uh, dataverse as a data source so in that uh, there is an option called like uh, export to excel so on that time i have directly implemented few functionalities through power apps in the power automate directly like i'm taking input from the power apps and i'm running the flow using the power automate okay my question was like have you processed the output from power automate flow into canvas apps no like in this way you must be sending the inputs to power automate then it will be using that right i was saying inputs to power app through power automate no sir i didn't use that functionality okay never mind so can you tell me like suppose you have a field so on that field you want to add some validation suppose the field is pin code field okay, okay. so as you know the pin code in india region it is for six digits right yes sir. So it is for six digits so you have to add a validation there mm -hmm. that people will not be able to add mm -hmm. the pin code more than mm -hmm or less than 60 days. Okay. How you will do that? Yeah. Uh, for this, we can use if condition. So on like which uh, property? Uh, data card uh, default property we can use on the default property. So we can set if the whatever the user entering into the uh, data which is uh, less than six. If it is more than that, we need to inform like uh, please enter valid pin code. Okay. So you will be adding it in default property, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Fine. So now, mm -hmm. suppose you want to show some notifications in your Canvas app. How you will show that? We have a notify functionality in Power Apps. Okay. So we can use formula as notify. Whatever the text we want to, we need to put in a double quotations. Then notification type based on our requirement. If it is a success or a error message or uh, information so there are three types of notifications that are available in power apps okay we can what are the this. different functions in power effects with which you can store the data in the data source yeah uh, yeah in power apps uh, we have two functionalities we can use to store the data uh, one is a patch functionality and second one is a submit form so using the patch functionality we can able to submit the multiple records in the data source at a time but uh, using the submit form we can able to use only single record at every time okay yeah and what about patch uh, patch functionality is like uh, we can use to update the record or modify to add the record into the database also or else we want to delete any record from the database also we can use the patch functionality okay makes sense what is the difference between local and global variables potentially 
Yeah, in Power App, there are two types of variables, as you mentioned, local and global. Local variable we create to use within the screen. Suppose, like uh, if we create in a welcome screen, we can able to use in that screen only. If we you if we create global variable, so we can use entire the application. We can use multiple screens. Can you tell me the syntax for both? Yeah, sure. Uh, we use the set functionality, set of uh, variable name and okay. value comma value uh, for uh, local variables we use update context of uh, open braces and variable name in the flower braces and variable value okay so now ishwari i have one scenario for you so the scenario is like so if suppose you are building a canvas app there is a sign up button okay, okay. so you have to check on runtime if the user is the admin user you have to navigate them to admin screen if the user is uh, of user type you have to navigate them to user screen. How you will achieve this? For this, uh, uh, we can use the set functionality. So for this, like uh, we use set variable name and we will use lookup functionality. It will look up the data source, whether uh, look up to the data source roles present in that. If it is a role admin, it will navigate to the uh, admin screen or else if it is a develop uh, suppose manager role it will redirect to the uh, that screen so based on the roles uh, which are present in the database we can select okay, okay. makes sense so koteshwari are you good with dataverse yes sir i am not 100 percent but i can what are the various type of relationships yeah in dataverse we have types of relationships like a one to many and many to one and one to one there are three types of relationships we can say okay what are the relationship behaviors uh relationship behaviors in the sense suppose uh, uh one to many means in in the sense one tables of values we can use for the multiple tables we can relate with the multiple table values i can say like that sir i'm not able to remember this one okay never mind so is for you are you aware about working of security roles how it works uh yes sir yeah can you please explain okay in uh in power apps there are uh, types of security roles uh, we can say like a role based security it will uh, we can use for this based on the roles user can able to access the application and second one is the access related security role access by security like a uh, suppose if the login user is there are a few set of securities we can assign like a uh, the login user can able to edit or delay credit operations based on the user we can provide the access so whether user can able to edit the functionality or not like that fine so what is delegation warning in canvas app and how uh, to overcome that yes uh delegation is a process mainly we can face many times when we are working with the canvas app so generally the limit maximum limit of canvas apps is 500 if we are trying to retrieve more than 500 records we can able to see the delegation warning on the application itself so on that time like uh, we will use some delegable functionalities so these delegable functionalities can directly work on the data source to retrieve the data onto the power apps so a few functionalities when we use few formulas like uh, if we use count then we will face some delegation warning uh, so we can use uh, delegable functions like a search filter lookup to overcome the delegation okay so are you aware about business process flows yes sir can you please explain me what are those yeah business process flows are like those other steps which the user needs to follow to develop any uh, application or processes as solutions okay business process flows are used for the better performance like uh, everything it will be structured in a structural way user can follow those uh, structures and to process that uh, what we need to do the next step like that okay so can you tell me the difference between business required and business recommended fields uh, business required means we should give the value without giving that value we cannot uh, submit the data in the forms in the application like in business recommended like uh, not mandatory but it will be helpful to the user to like using that uh, business recommended okay fine have you worked on power pages in my projects i did not work sir but uh, recently i have just gone through that okay what are the different types of roles which are there in power pages sorry roles in power pages roles <laughs> r-o-l-e-s sorry sir i'm not able to okay never mind so let me move on, move on to Power Automate. So can you tell me what is the basic difference between trigger and action? 
yeah um, triggers are the starting points where we need to start the flow and actions are the steps which are present in the each flow okay makes sense can a single flow have multiple triggers no sure yes sir i'm sure okay so can you tell me ishwari how to uh, call a power automate flow from another power automate flow sir i have no idea on this okay never mind so can you tell me what is the pagination limit in power automate suppose you are reading the data from sql server okay. and how many rows you will be able to read by default and like if you want to extend up to which level you can extend it in power automate yeah not able to remember that sir okay never mind what is concurrency in power automate yeah concurrency is used to run the multiple steps at the single time at a time okay with which action you can configure this uh once again sir recently i have done yeah yeah take your time no issues sorry sir i'm not able to recognize this one no issues so ishwari can you please walk me through how to implement exception handling in power automate yes sure uh, in a, uh, in power automate uh, we can handle exception handling like using that run after configuration uh, whether the previous action is failed or success so based on that if it is a failed so next if we want to run the next step also on that time every time we can't uh, sit on the one step whether if it is a uh, we are getting error at some place like that so on that time we will use some scope actions to run after the configuration where the previous step is also failed like okay. this have you worked on power automate desktop yes sir okay can you tell me what are the different connections available for excel automation connectors basically yeah excel automation like adding new row updating okay. like many operations we can do using excel in a power automate desktop fine we can say like open the excel making some changes modifications and yes sir i can say these are the days we can okay so ishwari are you aware about licensing model of uh, this power apps yes sir can you please explain what are the different kind of licenses th- that we have yeah we can say like uh, in power apps a few licenses that are there but mainly we say like a uh, power apps for uh, app plan this is for only user can able to use only single app or website okay and cost is for 5 dollars we can say and second one is a power apps per uh, user plan so one single user can de- uh, you develop multiple applications and okay. cost is around like a 20 dollars we can say and third one is like a power apps developer plan so this okay. is a free cost so user can able to build the solutions and test those in that environment and uh, another two also there like a dynamics 365 and uh, office 365 it will come with the subscriptions okay fine makes sense fine ishwari so i'm done with the questions do you have any doubts like uh, sir uh, in real time which one we use mostly like a power automate cloud or power automate desktop it depends on requirements yes. ishwari like here in our project we are using both okay like uh, suppose if we use power automate desktop like uh, we need to install in our systems then we need yeah. to use yeah system should be there right sir yeah yeah so in our case we will be installing it on the vms and then we will use it there okay sir okay thank you yeah Okay, so Ishwari, this was mock interview which was scheduled with you. So uh, I am being the part of interview panel from quite a long years now, and I have taken more than hundred of interviews. So by keeping all those things in mind, these were the frequently asked questions, and the, uh, you will get questions around these lines only in the interviews. So okay. let me jump on to feedback sessions, like where where you th- I think you should work on is. So okay. uh, as I am able to remember, you are existing student, right, and you. have uh, completed the course but everything that i have asked and that is covered in the course it yes. seems like you are little out of touch okay and whenever uh, like when i asked you something you have given that you will write the functionality on the default so that tell me like you are out of touch you have not practiced enough so if you have done that so then default you must be knowing what will happen when you will write it on the default okay and second thing when i asked you about scenario you assumed 
like uh, it is stored where it is stored where, like you should have asked me the counter question like how you will identify whether the role is the admin or the user right you assumed and you have given me the answer so one thing you have to be very careful when someone asks you about the scenario just ask as many question as you want this is not only for interview this is for real time projects also whenever client is giving you the requirement you should ask the questions don't assume anything okay sir and when i asked you about relationship types and behavior then also you got confused so i would request you to go ahead and watch the recording what it is, what it is what is the difference between both okay i mean when when i was telling you guys those concept there also i mentioned it is very important right so yes sir yes, yes. so now next thing is regarding power automate there also you are not clear with the nuances of it right so like how what is the limit and all so those things you have to work on so the bottom line is as of now you are doing good but i can see uh, the scope of in- improvement okay i would request you to uh, practice revise the things and then like you can go ahead for the interviews okay sir fine thank you ishwari sir on second nice interacting yeah on second yeah hi ishwari and indra thank for uh, joining this session so but i just have one feedback uh, ishwari uh, yes, you are maybe technically you are good but uh, the way of explanation right it should be in a strong the confidence i felt like you are low with the confidence actually yeah because confidence right? will when automatically come here right? when she will practice yes example with the confidence even though you are giving in a wrong answer that's fine panel things like okay she knows these concepts maybe we can um, train her and she can able to work but when we are giving the answer right that uh, voice quality that confidence levels i felt very low that will be some reason some most of the people to fail interview even they have technically strong example even if we can see like a lot many batches right they are making all assignments but they want to clear the interview reason uh, low confidence under the low voice range example while you are explaining i felt like in a in bit of some questions even though maybe you never worked but you can say how uh, probably like uh, i have some idea but i never used it in my pre- recent project so i forgot sorry for that that's fine but the why sh- base should be in a strong okay yeah. nice okay it will sure. help you actually yes right? actually even i felt yeah yeah you you should not act like a confused guy there okay <laughs> Mm-hmm. so you have worked on the stuff you have grinded yourself for 4 months everything is covered so just thing is just practice and show some confidence on you i think you will be through there is nothing negative about that so just the thing is you have to go back do some uh, re- revision and work on your tone and i think you will be through sure sir sure even though that's fine you are giving a wrong answer but that one answer should proper way confidence confidence yes, yes. <laughs> yes confidence, confidence will be the main key agenda i don't feel like uh, even your communication is weak and your uh, technical skills weak that's fine but first confidence skills is main priority after confidence then only you can able to deliver your uh, technical skills okay mahesh sure hmm? right okay. so if required we will take one more interview after couple of days meanwhile you can get us strong in that and what are the questions you are not able to answer today maybe anyway this this record will be helpful to you you can verify and check it again sure my sure so i, I guess the most of the topics covered in class only right yes yes every topic okay. actually recently also i have gone through that because some time i have work also so that's why something next yeah, okay 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 no yes, worries sir. if any topic not covered maybe you can check with me also like you can post me so if any topic is not covering even you are attending in a real time interviews also if you mm-hmm. felt like they are asking the different topics which is not covered in our course we can discuss if it's really important we will take an additional session it will help to all our sure, uh, maybe we will sure. check with indra at that time and how much percentage of the session these kind of topics are asking in the interviews we will get to know right example mm-hmm. in our previous data analytics course also page related reports very few people will ask but we felt like okay let we why we need to take a risk we are teaching page related means as for power bi people maybe i don't think so even you are using power page related reports as a data analyst <laughs> right yes mahesh yeah similar way right? it may helps you okay. recent you and i will take another mock interview very soon hmm? sure mahesh yeah all the best yeah. thank you so much mahesh thank you so much sir thank you ishwari all the best thank you sir thank you